everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and today I'm coming to you with another Cowpack review. Today we're doing a review of the Cowpack Clear Cosmetics case. Cowpack is like a travel accessories kind of company that sells all kinds of things like luggage, packing cubes, duffels, literally just think like anything related to travel. I am a huge fan of theirs. I have multiple products from them and I have reviewed a couple of them on this channel. I've done a video on here showing the Kaya laptop backpack case. I've done a video with the water bottle holder and I've also done a video most recently with the Luca Duffel. And so today I wanted to review the Clear Cosmetics case because this is something throughout my life. I like to travel a lot. I have a lot of travel vlogs on here. When I travel, it's kind of a pain point for me is finding a cosmetics case that has space for everything you need and it's like organized in a way that you can see it really well. And so this was not one of my first purchases from Cowpack. It was one that I got a little bit later and I had been wanting it for a while because first of all, it is beautiful. It's very aesthetic and it is just really nice being that it's clear clear and there's a lot of like nice kind of compartments. It just looks really organized. And so I wanted to review it after having it and give you my thoughts on it. Let's jump right in and I'll show you what it looks like full and everything like that. Okay, for starters, there are three different sizes of this bag. This is the medium. So they have the small, which is $75, the medium, which is $85, and the large, which is $95. And so in my opinion, when you're looking at cosmetic cases, this is a little bit more on the pricier end, you know, being $85. So I think it's important that we do this video today to just really decide like is it worth that price point so I do only have the medium and if you're watching this video there's a good chance that you could be watching it because you're wondering like what size should you get I know this because I was in the exact same boat I put off this purchase for a while because I just simply didn't know which one to get but I didn't want to buy all of them and so I am really happy with the medium I think the medium is actually perfect for me the dimensions of the medium one is 9.75 inches by 5 inches by 7.5 inches and here I will put up the dimensions for the small and and then the dimensions for the large. So you can go back and pause and look at it, maybe screenshot if you wanna like look into those and really compare. But one thing that's really cool about the Cowpack website is they have this section that is comparing the sizes of the cosmetics case. So if you are having that issue, I would definitely go on there and use that as a resource as well if you still need a little bit of help after this video. So the first thing that I like to do in my reviews is go through the specifications of whatever we're looking at, the product, to just see what the website claims about it. So this is part of the Kaya collection, which for reference, this is the Cowpack Kaya laptop backpack that I was talking about earlier. Maybe I'll do a dedicated review on this because I haven't done that yet. One thing that's really cool about Cowpack and how they have collections and everything is if there's a color that you really like, this is from the Classics collection. It's the mauve color. You can buy a lot of their products in the same color and have like a matching set if that's something that you like. If not, one thing that Cowpack is really good at is having color selections. So like they have really pretty colors. In some cases, they have really fun patterns. And so if you're someone that likes to be like really colorful, you could just like really mix it up as well. So for example, I have their tech case as well in the mauve and so you could just like match it, you know? So anyways, this is part of the Kaya collection. So if you wanted it to match, you could. I wanted to mix it up because I do have a lot in that color and I just thought this one was so beautiful. This is the dragon fruit color. I think it's so bold and so beautiful. I don't at all regretting this color. I just think it adds like a really nice pop of color and it's really fun. So if you are wanting to know what the dragon fruit looks like, it's gorgeous, like I recommend it. But there are currently in stock 15 colors of this. So if you are not a pink person or you just like don't love this color, there will be something for you. As far as material, we see that it's this like clear container. It is made out of PU and PVC. And then the interior is polyester. The bag is really lightweight. It is only 1.3 pounds. So that's really great because a lot of the stuff that we like to put in these can be a little heavy. So I think that that makes a difference. And then on their website, it is rated 4.9 stars based on 440 reviews. So it is rated well. First, I want to give you a little look at the bag. At the top, it has two handles. So when you carry it, you could carry it by one or you could carry it by two. So either way, like however you wanna carry it, there's that option. The hardware on it is this beautiful gold, which I think looks really good with the dragon fruit color. And I just think it makes it look really like luxurious and rich, like for it being like $85, at least like they did that really well. One thing to know about their kayak collection is everything is very, very sturdy. So if you are someone who likes more like soft, fluffy. I would consider the Luca collection. That's the like Luca Duffel that I have the video on. It's like real like that coat material versus everything with the Kaya is like very stiff, 
very sturdy, very structured. I think that there's a lot of benefits to that, especially with this. I think that a lot of cosmetic cases are real fluffy, they kind of fall, and then it's like harder to see things. So I think that's a nice feature about this. It's just something I wanna to bring to your attention. That way you can make the decision of what's best for you. But anyways, these things pop up and then they just go right back down. You can kind of hear that stiffness. You can feel and see that stiffness. And then you see that there's a zipper in the middle. So the zipper goes the whole way down to the bottom of the bag. You can hear that like sturdy zipper. That being said, it does unzip really easy. It doesn't get stuck, but it opens up to this. And so there are two different sides, two different compartments. One thing to note about this is that it does have to lay this way on the counter. You could lay it like this. It just might be a little bit harder to get into your stuff like against a wall, but keeping in mind that it does take up a little bit of space versus there are the kind of cosmetic cases that hang up like on the side, like they would like hang like this. Those don't take up as much counter space. So keeping in mind, like you will need at least some counter space for this product, particularly if you get the large, it's gonna take up even more room. But I do think it's nice because it leaves the this to be kind of like shallow and that's actually a good thing like that you would be surprised at how much does fit in here so there is enough room but it's kind of nice because you can see your stuff it's not hidden in like a really deep pocket so i think that's a good thing the hardware also says like cow pack on all of the zippers which i think is really pretty but these open up and they open up well they're not like stiff where you can't open them up and there's all this room for your stuff to go they have this nice little like lip here too so things don't just like fall out this kind of like holds them in so this side there's this big open compartment and then here, this is the mesh pocket. So I think this is perfect for putting like flossers. I like using little flossers. I also like to do Q-tips in here. So anything small that you have, it's a really good place to put them and then they're like easily accessible and not like, you know, in with everything else. You don't need like a separate container for it. And then on the other side, it's basically the same thing, except this one doesn't have like this pocket on the outside. It's just clear for you to see through and it opens up wide like this. As far as the rest of the bag, here it is, it has the hardware at the bottom, just so you could set it down nice. And the side, here is it from the side view. So it's pretty simple, like, you know, it's a little cosmetic case, that's like pretty much all there is to it. Now I wanna to talk to you about some of the pros and cons that I found when I was using this bag. As far as pros, it's really great because you can see through it. I think it's really accessible to see where you're doing because it's not super deep, everything you need is right there. So when you're doing your skincare, it's like you can use the one thing, put it right back, use another thing. It just makes getting ready and seeing all of your products really great. So I love that about it. The one thing that I was kind of wondering about, just like worried about with the bag is would it get dirty? How would the clear last? After I use it, when I come home from a trip, I just give it a little spritz. I recently got this Force of Nature cleaner, which is literally just like salt, vinegar. It might just be salt, vinegar, and water. And then I have a machine that electrolyzes it. So it makes a cleaner that kills like 99% of like bacteria and stuff. So I use this because it's non-toxic, but it like still gets rid of everything. I just spray it on the inside, spray it on the outside, give it a wipe. Here I'm using a paper towel just because that's what I had nearby, but I think that a little like soft cloth actually works a bit better. That gets it really nice and really clean for you. So that way if you have any product spill, it gets rid of it. And then just also like any germs from sitting on the counter or anything like that. So I think that it's really easy to clean. However, what I do want to bring up is that it does tend to scuff. So I took really good care of this when I was using it the couple times that I did. And it's probably going to be hard for you to see on here, but there are little like scuff marks. There's a scuff mark right here. Like when you turn it from the side, you can actually see quite a bit of scuffing. It doesn't interfere with seeing through it. Like I could still see all my products fine, but I don't know that after you use it a bunch and a bunch and a bunch, how it'll end up looking. So it kind of looks like when bugs smear on your windshield, I try to like scrub them to see if it was just like stuff that could come off and it's not, it's actual scratching. So I just wanted to bring that up because if you're really particular, that could be something that bothers you versus if you were using a different kind of material, you might not have that issue. However, if you are using a different kind of material, you may have a much harder time finding your stuff. So I really like this bag. I think it's well worth the money because I've spent less money on other bags. I've had the ones, like I said, that kind of hook on like a towel hanger and they hang down. I've had just like cosmetic bags like that for a while, even like before I was using this, this sounds ridiculous, but I was using a luggage cube and I was just like throwing everything in a luggage cube. And yes, you can see things well, but there's no structure to it. So everything just flies all over the place and it doesn't hold still or anything. This really holds all of your products still. So if you kind of get the hang of it or if you organize it well, where it's like all of my skincare is right here, then my toothbrush is on this side with my tongue scraper and my floss. Like if you organize it well, it's really easy to find things versus before, 
I just had stuff everywhere. You just, it takes longer to get ready when you're like searching for everything. I also really like that as you go through and as you accumulate pieces that you can get them to match. One thing that I think is really cool is I bought like a ton of stuff in this mauve color. And then after a while, like I didn't buy it all at once, but after a while you just start to look really put together where my lunchbox and my backpack and my tech organizer and my water bottle holder and my jewelry case is all the same color. And then you just look put together. So as far as the sizes, I feel like you can pretty much look online and determine if you think the small one would be okay for you. I think if you're a really minimalistic person that just needs like deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, hairbrush, if you don't need a whole lot of stuff, or maybe if you're going on like a really short trip, the small one would be good for you. For me, that's just like not gonna happen. The small one I think would work for me, like if I decided to get two of them, I think it would work well if I did the small one as a makeup bag because I'm not somebody that has makeup artist level amounts of makeup. So it would work well for me like that and then this to be everything else. So that might help you if you can kind of give a comparison of how you organize your stuff and how much you have by that. That being said, when I looked at pictures of the large one online, I just felt like it was gonna be way too much space. Like I said, kind of more like a makeup artist size bag where I just felt like it was gonna take up like half of one side of my suitcase. And I didn't want that where I didn't have room for anything else because I've done that before. So I think this is really perfect for using it. And I wanna explain how I actually organize this. So the way that I do this is I have a makeup pouch where all my makeup is in a separate container. Could you put your makeup in this? Absolutely, this is just how I do things and this could obviously change in the future This is just what works for me right now at the moment And then what I like to do is let's put all of my skincare on one side So my cleanser my serums my oils lotions face masks like anything related to my skincare on this side Sunscreen that I'll put like my multivitamin anything else that fits in this side and then over here I'll do like toothpaste like I said I do like my flossers in here I'll do my tongue scraper and then I just like fill in the spot with anything else that I have like hair ties Any like miscellaneous getting ready stuff and then that's this so my actual like getting up getting ready in the morning everything's in here then I move over to my makeup bag and that's there the only other thing that I have that's like getting ready related that I don't put in here is my shower stuff so the way that I like to do this is I have a separate little bag and I put my little reusable travel bottles in there I'll do my shampoo conditioner face wash body wash like I'll put everything in there and I have a separate bag and I like to just keep those separate because then when I get to a hotel or wherever I'm going I just kind of line them all up in the shower and it doesn't like risk the potential of getting like all of my other stuff wet if anything leaks out or anything like that in talking about it and thinking about it because I have so many extra little bags I probably could get away with the large one and then in the large one I would have space for maybe like those shower bottles or makeup cosmetics but that's the way that I do it I think there's a lot of different ways you could do it I think that you could do a small and a medium I think you could do just a large it just depends on how much makeup you have how many products that you use in a day and all of that jazz and what you put in it so I hope that this video was super helpful for you if you have this bag you have any tips for it or any thoughts on it leave it below oh if you have like a really good system of how you organize your travel items share that below because I'm always looking to get better at that I definitely think that there's room for improvement so if there's anything you're thinking of definitely let me know I do love this bag I do recommend it if you do decide to get it I have a referral code that I will leave in the description box below it's just like one of those general sharing codes where I think it gives you $25 off your purchase however you do have to spend like $125 or something like that so this would be more like if you were buying two of them or if you were buying one of these and then something else from CalPAC. Otherwise, that's all I have for you. If you do want to see any other CalPAC videos, let me know because I do have a lot of their products that I haven't reviewed and I would be interested in getting any other ones potentially if I have a need for them and if you guys would like to see a review for them. So I love you all so much. I will see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe and stick around. I love you. Bye.